Postwipe can be an absolute nightmare if things don't go your way. But it's also the best time to take over a server. And the best way to do that is to raid everyone. I love to see the naked running when the server just wipe it. <laughs> Alright, let's get to work as well. I'd like to build around large oil and close to the ocean, and that abandoned cabin is looking pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna try to be the first one to get there and take it over. Alright, we're in business now. Oh. I'm 57 HP though, but I'm gonna try to fight him if he's solo. He might be down, he was full naked though. Ah yeah, he's, he's awesome. Oh nice, this is almost enough to build my starter. This is perfect, no one built here yet. The thing is, I like to build in the middle, but I know there are some places like, yeah, like this one, where I can't build, and I like to make a compound and stuff like that later. So I think I'm gonna build in one of the sides. Okay, we took over the swamp, at least for now. <laughs> Alright, so there should be a lot of sulfur, a few crates and a green card here, spawning pretty much every few minutes. So at least for today I'm gonna try to be looting it all the time. Nice, this is pretty good actually. <laughs> I hate animals, really. Oh nice, two fuses. I can try to get a blue card already. I mean, I might be the first one to try it. I'm gonna head to Harbor or Satellite this. Even if the passage is already done, I will be farming some scrap on my way back. So yeah, let's go. Oh nice, this horse is fucking amazing really. No, it's done already. People is so fast, holy. Well, at least I got the horse. This horse feels so OP when the wipe just started because there is a lot of people running naked just trying to build their bases and you just hunt them. <laughs> I think this is the same guy that I just killed. <laughs> we just found the little Timmy 69. <laughs> Alright, crates and green cast should have respawned already. Nice. I love that I'm the only one looting it all the time. I'm gonna craft a war machine level 1 and we go out cross the nail gun. I took a little bit of lower it just in case I find a boat. It would be so sick if I can get to the underwater labs already, honestly. Oh, there's someone by the road. Oh, what the heck? I thought I was hunting him, but he's actually <laughs> the one hunting me, yeah. I need these bombs. And I made a hatchet as well. This is so good. Nice. Ah! 
Hayırdır? So where the people in this game man really? Alright, we need to start getting more scrap and I don't really feel like buying a boat right now. So I think we are gonna head to the metro. Alright, let's go. So many naked around this swamp, holy. <laughs> Metro is insane if you don't die, man. <laughs> you got so much stuff in no time. Okay, let's uh, let's not die now, yeah. <laughs> nice. I just heard someone farming around. I'm gonna check it out quick. Oh my god! <laughs> it's still running. What? <laughs> Ah, nice. I, I hate farming wood, really. Okay, it's time to do some expansion, I guess. Alright, should be fine for now. I want to go around and meet our neighbors. Let's go. Oh, yo, yo, do you guys see what I see? <laughs> that boat has to be mine, really. Well, they got their builder expanding now, but I don't think he has a weapon, though. Ah, fuck it, let's go. Oh, there is open. I can go deep. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Trying to take the boat, I guess. This happens a lot in big terms. Like farmers and builders are sometimes not allowed to use guns. So yeah, you can take advantage of that. In the ocean meta, when you already got a boat, the only problem you have is recycling the ridiculous amount of components that you will get. But that was not a problem for me, because there was a lighthouse close to my base that wasn't being really used by anyone. So, meanwhile I had a rip, I decided to become an ocean farmer and holy, my progression in just one or two hours was insane. Holy notes, what the heck? That's enough to build my base two times. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna craft a war bench level 2 and we go to that island. I can literally get a box of stone in 5 minutes and beef my entire base already. There's so many people around here now. No, my friend, why? These rats might be going there to try to steal my boat. It, like you can't leave a boat for five minutes nowadays. Holy! <laughs> These guys are like ants. What the heck? Well, they actually had some stuff. I'm gonna depot everything real quick and go back there before they steal my boat. It's crazy, like, how everyone is trying to join boats now. I probably should build a boat base in the future. Kill me, come on, kill me. You can, you can, come on, kill me. <laughs> this is one of the guys that I just killed trying to steal my boat. Come on, kill me, kill me, kill me. Kill me. <laughs> Did he kill himself? 
I know he's he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> Alright, full inventory of stone in less than 10 minutes. That's fucking crazy. With the stone that I just got, I upgraded my base to a decent state. Then I went to water treatment to get a red card so that I could run large oil. Also, I got enough scrap to craft a warbench level 3, and as I didn't fight a real weapon yet, I used the detach tree to reset an MP5. Right, now is when the wipe actually starts for me. <laughs> oh, we are 100% going for that. They probably live in that clan base nearby, so let's shoot fast. Wait, they have hollow sight? No way. The heck, there's a guy swimming. Oh shit, there's a fucking pumpkin coming to me. This guy doesn't die. Oh my god, I'm not liking this. I have a plan, I have a plan, hold on. Now let's go. Come on. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> this fight was so scuffed, dude. Oh, okay, nice. I'm gonna try to loot the other guys before they come back. Holy shit, okay. Yes, got it. Let's go. Let's go. We got so much from that fight. We're gonna come back with a diving set to try to find the pumpkin guy weapon. Oh shit, they are back already. Oh wait. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> These guys are so mad right now. Oh, and he found the start of the pumpkin guy for me. No way. <laughs> All 
right? I think I'm gonna make a compound, research large furnace, and start smelting sulfur to do some raid chase up. I think I got enough scrap to research large furnace already. Yeah, nice. Okay, time to make a compound. Then I did a few base upgrades and meanwhile all that sulfur was being smelt, I went to counter large oil. Oh, they just call heavies, let's go. They had no clue that I was here. I love countering with a diving set, dude. So OP. Holy shit, nice. I need told you, look. <laughs> What am I supposed to do with 3 bolts? <laughs> Holy shit. After depoing everything, I went around to try to find the right target. Oh fuck, I hope they didn't see me. That's it? Yeah, nice. I thought there were more. Oh, this guy got uh, 200 scrap as well. <laughs> nice. Then, I was going to do a recycling run to research Expo Ammo when I found this base. This could actually be a good raid target. I don't know what they have or how many they are online. Well, maybe they are not even online, but there's a few doors open and that's looking so juicy. <laughs> actually, yeah, I'm gonna research Expo Ammo. I will craft enough for a few doors, plus a few satchels that I got. And we're gonna give it a try. I can bring a few grenades or something like that in case they are online. It can be really fun though. Alright, let's go. Well then, I came back, I researched Explo Ammo. I called an airdrop hoping to get more explosives. Well, I can use the SARS to shoot the Explo Ammo at least. <laughs> and now, and now what? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what? That guy must be along in Tokyo's biggest fan, but he's not going to use these trees anymore. <laughs> Alright, so this should be enough for like 4 doors, so yeah, let's see how far we get. I'm gonna sneak around to see if I can hear them inside the base. I can't hear anyone inside, and all the doors are still open, so fuck it, let's go. Fuck, okay, let's keep trading anyways.
I, t I don't have enough, but uh, we are close to main loot. The thing is, I have to raid both doors, despite one is open, because there is a damage reduction when you splash the seed metal doors of an airlock. Well, the good thing is that I'm raiding in a super far island, so I don't think anyone is gonna come to finish the raid or to camp the base meanwhile I'm crafting more expo. Oh nice, this is should be there, okay. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 come on. <laughs> My god. Well, okay, that's, that's better at least. I finished transferring all their loot and this is what I got. It wasn't much, but take in mind it was only 24 hours into force wipe. So yeah, a lot of bases were pretty empty. Anyways, my progression on day 1 was really good and little did I know how amazing day 2 was going to be. When I woke up the next day, I was doing a little bit of farming when I met this guy. What? Stop cheating. More, more like a stop whiffing. <laughs> I literally just used 30 bullets to hit him three times. What? Fucking cheater. Wait, why, why, why you do that? <laughs> I think this guy is laughing at me because I was missing all my shots. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, now I see why he's so disappointed. That was close. I need to get out of here. It sucks that I have to leave half inventory of a stone in the other guy's body, but I can't loot anything else. So yeah, let's let's get out of here. After depoing everything, I went to counter last oil. Oh, just in time. <laughs> I'm gonna wait around here. Oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> never mind. And a boat is coming now, really? Holy shit. Loot. <laughs> Loot. <laughs> no, no, get out. Get out, please. Come on. Yes. Oh shit, but I'm gonna bleed out. I can't eat underwater, right? Yeah, I can't. Fuck. As I was going to die, I dropped all my items as far as possible and then I came back to recover everything with another diving set. Alright, alright, day 2 is going pretty well honestly. Of course, someone stole my boat, so I went around to try to find another one. And well, I did. Holy shit, my computer almost exploded. I don't, I don't think he can see me. Yeah, he can't. This is so unfair. Night time in Rust, by the way. <laughs> well, that's a free boat. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, there you go. With the boat acquired, I went to the island where I killed the farmers before to keep grinding more sulfur. Oh, Python again. It might be the same guys from before. Holy shit, how many times did I hit this guy? Oh my god, not again, like, can't people in this island just dip or what? <laughs> what the heck? Ah, oh, but I don't see where is the MP5 though. Ah, fuck it, fuck it, I'm being greedy. I can place a sleeping bag here and respawn when I depot to try to find the MP5. Then, I spawned in the bag, found the MP5, killed the same guy coming back for his loot, and most important, I found their base. It was the perfect right target for me. Their base was probably less than 20 rockets, they were hardcore farmers, so they were loaded, and not a lot of people would come to counter, so I started to prepare everything. I placed a few turrets protecting my compound so that I could start smelting all that sulfur without the rats <laughs> trying to steal from me. And in the meantime, I saw a guy taking large oil solo with a minicopter, which is something I don't see quite often in this server, so I went to counter. Okay, surviving that was the hard part, now I just have to go up. I know he's in the crane, but all the heavies are between us, and I don't want to get aggroed by them. There you go. O always works. Well, it works. Four, o four out of five times, yeah. <laughs> He has 8 eggs. Nice. Well, better than nothing, I guess. I needed some scrap to research explosives, C4 and rockets, so I went to recycle when I saw this. Yeah, the boys going for a little flight. <laughs> are they landing? Yeah, they actually are. What a nice timing to recycle by me. Wait. No way, right? This is the base that I wanted to raid. They're actually going to steal my raid. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they are. Come on, like, there are a million bases and they have to raid this one now. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I have to find another base to raid. I did manage to get out of there and then research the raiding tools that I needed. And trust me when I say, I'm really glad these guys raided the group that I wanted to raid because that made me find this other base which is super important for this story. Well, these guys got a world shovel to in their compound. They have a few turrets and even left some loot in these boxes. So yeah, this, this seems to be a good raid target for sure. I started to craft rockets, but I realized I probably didn't have enough if their core was HQM, when I saw one of my third neighbors had a lot of large furnaces running. Holy shit, loot city, baby! <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, okay, yeah, that, that helps. Best base ever. This is fucking amazing. <laughs> when I had enough sulfur, I had to do some preparations before going there with rockets. First, I had to break their turrets. If I wanted to raid a base like that, I would need to make sure I can get building privilege. So I went there and subsided the external TCs. Having that extra building privilege would also allow me to build a raid base as close as possible to their base. By that time I had a decent amount of GP, so I crafted as many rockets as I could and I went there to build a raid base. It was not the best raid base ever, because the privilege was messing me, but it would do the job. I place a bolt turret. Move all my rockets there and I waited till morning came. I did a lot of preparations and everything looked pretty solid, but a little did I know that this raid was about to become a war zone. Right, moment of truth. I know this base was a 2x2, so I'm just gonna hit first and second floor. Wait, what? What? What the heck? I'm shaking already, dude. Like, I need to get TC now. Okay, nice. I can't build here because they got a million TCs around the base, dude. Okay, nice, nice. I can only make an airlock, but that should be good, though. Actually, there is, like, no loot in here. Like, all the good loot is in the other loot room. Like, I want to move all the GP here first. Holy shit, it's so much, like so much man, like, like how can they have a box of GP on day 2? I don't get it, really. Oh my god, the privilege in this base, dude. Don't tell me I can't even place a new TC, come on. Oh no, not a bueno, full kids outside. Come on, and I can't even place a TC, man. Oh, nice, nice, got it. Terrible placement, but should be good. Alright, I wanna place a crash door as well, just in case these guys try to do something. Ah, <laughs> this is such a mess, dude. Like, there is a lot of good loot combined with so much trash as well. And there is no space to place boxes at all. <laughs> oh my god, another row of GP here. This is fucking crazy, dude. Okay. Actually, I didn't say anything yet, but I'm starting to get worried because there's like five guys outside and they don't seem to go away. I'm wondering if I can place the Warmatch level 3 to block the entrance. 
<laughs> this guy. Yeah, Gorliak, wh why don't you pick solo against like five full kits with AKs and bots? What, what could go wrong? <laughs> they are shooting this wall non stop. Like, I think these guys are gonna try to re rate the pace. Oh, I didn't even see this loot. <laughs> what the heck? I don't even know what are they shooting at this point. <laughs> well, <laughs> that helps, I guess. Okay, I think I should be fine though, but I'm gonna smelt some high color just in case. Um, guys, we might have a problem now. <laughs> Come on, like, they are really going to re raid it. Ah, okay, let, let's focus. There should be two in the heli. Okay, so uh, plus one more jumping. Now, now that's that's three. Well, that's another one. So this should be four. Holy shit, dude! That's another one. So they are there five. Wait, what? Oh my god! I forgot to kill off the door, dude. I'm so dumb. Holy! I can, I mean, it's not like it's gonna make a huge difference. It's only one more rocket, yeah. But still, that's that's my bad. I mean, if they go through the seat metal and the garage door, I can just uh, place a high call wall here. And I should be fine. Oh, here they come. Wait, but they are not going through the seat metal door. They are going left side. Yes, yeah, that's, that's really bad though. Now I can't wall myself. And I can't open this garage door because I forgot to kill the other one. Fucked it. I have to think fast. I'm trying to take all the GP and the rocket so they might not have enough to keep raiding. Ah, fuck, if I didn't forget to kill off the door... Wait, but maybe I can put it from here. By the way, I know they are gonna demolish the wall. I'm just trying to buy some time, because they will probably have to craft a hammer. Oh, nice! I can! Huge! Okay, so they just got TC because I'm building block now. They just demolished the wall. So now they can live with what's in there, or they can actually just raid this door if I don't do something. You know what? I'm not gonna hide here I mean, while they take all my loot. No fucking way, dude. What the heck just happened? I don't even know what to do. I'm taking all the GP and ditching. Fuck it. Ah, fuck it, fuck it. I'm being greedy. I'm out. Oh, what? There's more people outside. How, dude? I can't leave now, like, he's just gonna kill me when I try to get out. Oh my god, and I don't even have a ladder anyways. I have to seal this and pray that they don't come back. Alright, we should be fine now. About 3 minutes later, they flew back with another heli and regrouped here again. So, all I could do was try to secure the base as much as possible. Problem was that I didn't have mats, so I crafted a few furnaces and tried to smelt as much high quality and metal ore as I could.
ganando el chico. Holy shit, these guys. Like, I don't even understand why are they using so many rockets for this. Because they don't know about all the GP. Like, I had that in my inventory all the time, so... Anyways, I don't think they are gonna have enough to go through the metal wall, dude. Or I hope so, at least. Alright, so they just broke the garage door now. And I think I'm gonna craft another one just in case they go through the metal wall. But <laughs> honestly, if they have enough to raise the wall, I don't think a garage door is going to stop them anyways. No matter if they have to go back to farm more or whatever. <laughs> really, dude, they are gonna raise the wall as well. Like, should I even place the garage door? Like, I don't think it's gonna save me, but yeah, whatever. Let's try at least. Oh my god, and I can't even place it. Ah, I don't have time, dude. I have to talk to make a play. I don't think they know that I'm here. So I can probably surprise them again. Yeah, let's see, I guess. Oh, fuck, dude. They already know that I'm here. <laughs> oh. It was so close, man. <laughs> Why did they even put so much effort into raiding that base? <laughs> and you know what? I wanted to win, of course, but that, that was really fun, honestly. This raid defense took almost two hours. I was so hyped about killing them the first time. So the fact that I ended up losing was so demotivating for me. That's why I decided to just quit the server. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's day three, I got a box of guns, more sulfur to use, and a lot of groups to anger. Okay, what a nice way to start the day. <laughs> I, so yesterday I got wrecked by that group, but today I'm gonna try to find out where they live and mess with them a bit. I don't think I'm gonna raid them because they will live in a fucking massive base, but we can probably raid someone else. I'm pretty sure these guys are going to come back, so I'm gonna go there again. I think they live in that base in the water. It's actually a good raid target, by the way. Oh my god, my heart can't handle this game anymore, really. Oh, holy shit, this place is popping now. There's one more, I think. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, got it. Finding weapons in the water is such a fucking pain, dude. <laughs> Right, we got some stuff from them, nice. Oh my god, what the fuck? I don't like this game, dude. <laughs> they were so close that even the smart alarms are activated. What? <laughs> I don't think jumping off the boat was the best decision, honestly. Oh 
<laughs> they literally have for nothing. All right, that's the third one. They didn't expect the streaming push. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Right, so after that, I decided to take a look to the base that I tried to raid the day before. When I saw that the guys who came to re-raid it twice also used four more rockets on my raid base, and they brought this in my bed. In Spanish, this means something like a loser. Yeah, they called me a loser because I lost a 1 best of 6 second raid defense. It's okay, I asked in chat where they lived, and well. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a base, yeah, what the heck. I mean, the, the problem is that they have like 8 windmills, so I assume they will have a thousand turrets. But, uh, well, let's see what we can do. Oh, yo, yo, me see Scrapelli, me take. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> go again. Oh, there is a guy inside. Oh my god, he's collecting so much. Oh, nice. <laughs> Wait, the mixing tables are working. Fuck, but there is the turret. I think this guy is playing without sounds in game, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, so much. I think these are for health this man. <laughs> they are building TCs all around now. <laughs> nice, nice, they are getting mad. <laughs> yeah, I truly am. <laughs> If I wanted to talk, I would just use voice chat. This guy is not having a good day, man. <laughs> Fuck, I whip so hard. This is why you should warm up before shooting in this game. Well, I was not going to raid these guys, so I decided to stop messing with them and fight another raid target. And it didn't take me long because then this happened. Okay, so I wasn't recording because I was just farming comps in the metro to recycle them in order to buy a mini. And I'm getting a lot of smart arms notifications in my phone, so I'm gonna buy it already and see what's going on. Well, I hope I'm not getting raided because I'm really, really far from my base. Um, I don't see people rocket in my base, so I think that's a good sign, yeah. <laughs> oh, these little rats, they are breaking my turrets. It's actually funny how they are running all at the same time. Ah, I don't want to risk getting compound bow headshot though. Nice. Oh, what the heck, there's another one. I swear some groups love stealing from solos, really. Wait. Ah, now I know who they are. These guys are the owners of the base where I was fighting with the Spanish clan. Well, after that, these guys started to say really bad words that I can't show in the video and threat to offline raid me. But at some point they left and I followed with them to see where they live. And to my surprise, they took over the same base that I had raided before. So, I decided to farm up a little bit and hit their base a second time. You don't need to shoot me, man. Don't waste your sober on me. <laughs> You're actually completely right. 
I made a shop to get more sulfur. I killed one of the guys that I wanted to raid farming hardcore, which made me think they were actually going to try to offline raid me. And well, soon I had enough to raid them. I wanted to give them an online raid. The thing is, they had an external TC and that would be a problem. So, meanwhile they were off, what I did was raiding the external TC and placing the same door with a code lock, so that when they come online, they wouldn't notice that someone raided it. While I was waiting, I just took an AK set and I went around to see what was going on. No way! <laughs> oh my god, this guy is such a legend. Silence is pumping his life. You don't see that every day. <laughs> Holy shit, I couldn't see this guy. He almost killed me. Oh my god, this guy is scaring me with that pump, dude. Really? <laughs> I actually love this kind of players, dude. These guys truly enjoy playing the game without tryharding, like they built a public disco base for everyone on day 2 and they are just chilling around, like messing with pump slugs, dude, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> the boys using me as a shooting target, dude. Oh my god, how am I still full HP? <laughs> oh, they're actually pushing me. <laughs> what the heck are these guys doing? So, so this is what people see when I'm the one driving the mini, right? <laughs> Oh, nice, okay. <laughs> oh my god, they just traded someone, holy shit. Well, you know, I can actually use the tracks and the armor doors to make a raid base now. <laughs> nice. At this point, I've been waiting for a few hours and they didn't seem to be coming anytime soon. I wanted to give them an online raid just to have some fun, but it's not like uh, they deserved it at all since they literally said they were going to offline raid me, so I decided to just go for it. Because I raided their external TC, I had building privilege really close to their base. Only problem was that I couldn't place a TC inside the raid base, but that shouldn't be a big deal since I was the only one with privilege there. Right, let's go for it. Last time I was in this base, I didn't have a good time. This should be really low HP. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish it with the grenade launcher. Okay, this should be behind one of these garage doors. There you go, nice. Ay, ay, ay. The comps are really good, but it seems like if there is some loot missing. I can't see any sulfur though. So confused with this base, dude. Because the comps are really good, 
But usually, if you have so many comps, you should have sulfur and guns, you know? It's actually weird that they only have components. So I'm gonna keep raiding a few more doors. Warbitch level 3. They must be hiding loot for sure. <laughs> what the heck is this, man? I was convinced that they were hiding loot, so I brought a few jackhammers and actually I found another loot room. But it was completely empty as well. So, I guess they just move everything to a different base, or they just hide it pretty well. Anyways, they got a lot of comps, so I decided to recycle everything and pretty much research every item in the game. And this is how it ends. This was not my best wipe ever, but I think this is a very good example of what the solo experience in official servers is like. Or well, how the Rust experience in general is. How you can have everything and then lose it in just a few seconds. But I think that's what makes this game amazing at the same time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. And I'll see you in the next one.